annually we make about 15 yards of compost with around 25 chickens that live in three separate coops that all converge on this chicken yard daily. We've been managing our chickens in this system for a couple of years now and the system itself is always evolving and I thought I'd bring you along today to show you a bit of that evolution. I'm constantly bringing material in because there's constantly material on its way out to form a finished compost. One of the primary inputs into this yard is wood chips and I always keep a fairly substantial stockpile on hand and this morning I brought in probably somewhere around 20 wheelbarrows thus far and I probably have more to do since it's been quite some time since I brought them in. I like to keep a base in the areas where I don't want them to concentrate activity somewhere around a foot deep at minimum. Let me show you what I brought in thus far but first I'm going to need to get these chickens out. They're ready to go to work. I like to keep a lot of depth around the perimeter. What that does is it kind of helps to keep this from being an area where they wind up digging up too close to the fence and putting big holes in areas where they dust bathe. And as I need material, it's right there. I don't have to travel too far for it. And it's already had an opportunity to start breaking down. But this pile here is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about 10 by 20. And they're doing their daily job. In the mornings, I'll take their food and, and put it up, and then they only get fed in the evening. And that really does encourage them to come out here and play all day and search for all of the food that exists out in this chicken yard. These piles are deep enough where they never really run out of soil life. They're not going to be able to completely obliterate the population of worms that exist in here, and those worms are going to continually just keep growing. So I like to keep these piles fairly substantial for that reason. Another thing that I give the chickens frequently, if not daily, is the insects that we wind up collecting from a bucket that we put underneath a bug zapper. Last night we wound up harvesting a bunch of tomato hornworms with the black light. So they're going to have a feast on those as well. <laughs> Been experimenting with a couple of compost rings in this larger ring is where we bring in all the food scraps daily, vegetable waste, produce. Still climbing on up toward 150 and beyond. As I've said many times before, running a yard in this way is not a passive system. It's not something you just set and forget. It's not a system that's necessarily going to be something that everybody's going to have the time nor the desire to do. I do think that there's an additional benefit to the hens, to the livestock. They're able to go and interact within this yard doing exactly what chickens want to do, which is to hunt and search and peck around for food. And it provides them an opportunity to have a better quality of life and better health along the way. So in that sense, I think it's a, been a really good experience for not only the chickens, but for me learning about how to best manage this space. Generally a couple of bags per week. We get that from a local coffee shop. fruit and nut trees that are planted in here are going on their second year as well and they're really starting to benefit from all this fertility. They provide a nice amount of shade, canopy, and protection from any aerial predators and they are starting to 
give us a little bit of a yield at this point. There's a pecan. This is a peach. Walnut. Pakistan mulberry. Curly willow. It's an almond. Plum tree. Citrus. Got a lot of berries and grapes planted along the perimeter. The chickens at this point can reach in and get what they want. Those pigs go to the bathroom over there, and all their urine and feces is absorbed by the biochar that I put into it. And then I wind up taking out about a half of a wheelbarrow load of that material and adding it to the compost yard. And then the chickens get a chance to work it over, and this biochar gets an opportunity to further get inoculated into the process. Thanks, guys. It's awful nice of you. As this material gets added to the compost ring, it's got a lot of fly larva and undigested grain in here. So they go ahead and pick through it pretty well and it allows it to be incorporated in to the pile pretty nicely. On average, I probably bring in about a wheelbarrow load of material to this yard every day. But it's very seasonally dependent since all of this is material coming 100% from a waste stream what we've been able to scavenge and from relationships that we've established locally. This chicken yard is very much like a living organism and I'm constantly adjusting and trying to improve based on the hen's activity and the flow of the material as it moves through this yard. Hey, chicken. Got a hen who decided she wanted to be broody about four days ago, so go over here and see what she's up to. She's been in here for about four days. Are you gonna be a mama? Night y'all. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.